Hello Bebop Pilots. This video is part three of the uh, Sky Controller Substitute and Alternative series that I've done or I'm doing. I did uh, parts one and two sometime last week and the response I got from you, the viewers, has been tremendous. Thank you very much. I received several requests um, from viewers uh, asking to show the PlayStation controller with the Xiaomi Mi extender in operation, kind of a demo. So that's what this video is about. Let's get started. Please excuse the back of my car. It is a complete and total mess, I know. All right, here we have my Bebop 1. Uh, and of course my PlayStation 3 controller. Again, this is a generic controller with the phone bracket installed. Uh, next up we have the Bebop 1, of course. And this is a battery. I had it stuck to the side of my box, but I guess that didn't stick. This is the battery that I'll be using to power the Xiaomi Mi Wi-Fi extender. So, I'm going to get set up here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to power on the Bebop and let it boot up and um, broadcast its Wi-Fi signal. And while it's booting up, I will get my controller set up. Bebop is powered on. So now, next up, here's my controller. I'm gonna open up the um, holder bracket like that, and I'm going to simply put the phone on and tighten these little screws down to hold it in position. Next up, have this uh, mini USB cable, which plugs into the back of the controller like so. And I have a USB host, otherwise known as a USB OTG cable. Uh, that's gonna get plugged in here like this. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S5 phone for piloting. So I'm gonna plug the host cable into the charge and data port like this. You'll see it recognizes it by the screen coming on. Let me make sure I have my screen brightness turned up, which I do. Okay. So next up, I have my battery for my Wi-Fi extender. I've got Velcro on that, so I'm gonna just stick that behind here like that. And last but not least, oh, hit something on the screen there. The Xiaomi Wi-Fi extender, which gets plugged into the controller system like that. Um, this battery happens to be, have a power button, so I'm gonna press that. And now I'm gonna look for the connection signal. I don't know if you can see that at all there. Let's see if we can get some focus here. If you've watched my uh, earlier two videos on this, there we have focus. You'll see that uh, when you power the Xiaomi Mi extender on, it uh, flashes yellow for a few moments, and when a con connection is established, it turns blue. It's a bright, sunny day here, so I gotta have to kind of shade that, but there you can see it's blue, so a connection has been made from the extender to the drone. So now I'm just gonna go into my phone. Um, I'm using the, I don't know if you can see that, the AR Pro 3 uh, piloting app. That's the home screen. I'm gonna go into the settings, go to Wi-Fi settings, and just right now, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it says that my phone is connected directly to the drone. I want the Bebop Drone Plus, which would mean that the extender is what is connected to the phone. So it just made connection to the extender, and of course the extender is connected to the drone. So I'm gonna back out of here and go to the piloting screen. And there, video feed has been established. Uh, I have a lock on eight satellites. I'm going to do a flat trim. 
So I have one thing nice about this app, it's made to work with a controller like this, and you can program all the buttons however you see fit. I have the pop triangle button uh, for flat trim, so I'm going to press that. And as you can see, it says flat trim set. Um, so I'm just going to hit start now to take off. Here we go. Now for some reason today, I don't know why, but it's, um, it's not showing me my signal strength very well. I'm not going to fly very far away because this is an area that is um, polluted with a lot of Wi-Fi signals. I'm going to, as you can see in the main video, this is an area with a lot of uh, businesses and buildings around and congestion. But you can see this is how it works works quite well. I'm starting to get uh, video freeze and lagging. Um, again, probably due to interference. And oh look, I just got a disconnection. So the drone should return home. Um, like I said, this is an area with a lot of Wi-Fi interference. It's definitely not a good environment for flying. Okay, so the drone has come back with the automatic return to home function. It um, took a couple minutes, but it's directly overhead. Uh, I still don't know how far I am from, uh, according to the, the numbers here. Um, I can't tell my signal strength, but you can see here that I've got this set uh, to adjust my camera pan and tilt and this button here will resume uh, centered camera. Uh, this one here I have set the lower trigger to bring up the map. I don't know if you can see that on, the, on your screen but that toggles the map view on and off. Um, again I got this for flat trim, return home. This is to start stop video but I usually let the video the drone stay on um, auto record from the moment it takes off. And then this one here, the square button, if you can see that when I press it, that is to take a photo. Of course the response to take the photo may take a while. But that's basically it. Uh, the drone is uh, a little bit further, no, just, I don't know, a few meters away right now. Uh, I'm currently at 36% battery, so I am going to bring it back in. Again, not a long uh, flight by any means, but I just wanted to demonstrate how this works. Uh, in areas where there's uh, little or no Wi-Fi congestion, I am able to achieve much longer ranges. Um, but again, there's a lot of buildings in this area and there's so many different Wi-Fi signals that it does cause a bit of interference, which is going to uh, obviously impact the, um, the, the range that I can realistically get. Okay, so I'm at a 28% battery. I'm going to start bringing it in. It's just about directly overhead right now. Bringing it down. And we're 
we're gonna land it. That was it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and please like, share, and subscribe if you found it worthwhile. Thanks for watching.